What's up, guys? This week's like signing and welcome back to Tekken Tag Tournament 1 for the PS2 version that came out in 1999. I don't know why I did mention that in the other two videos. Now, we're playing as Bruce Irving. Oh, I don't know how I remember all these people, but I do remember all that last thing. We're going to go for a. Oh, I went for the box of Bruce Bruce. That doesn't matter. So, people think. Well, well, not to, I like to think that people don't think it, but. I'd like to say that people don't know, well, a lot of people wouldn't know, but people who just play it for the sake of it wouldn't know who would go well with Bruce in this game. It's like a Titan it works well with Steve, but in fact, it is a good combination with Kazaya. Because in Tekken 6, in the main storyline, Bruce is a mercenary for Kazaya, and he's on Kazaya's team, and that is the only combination that I could work with for Bruce. Even. But hey ho, let's just continue. Okay, so, um, you may find a little bit of poor quality in the video this time, considering, like, what's going on, because my computer's having a crap at the moment, considering I'm, because I'm loading the video you saw yesterday, because I like to do these. I had a goal for today to record six Tekken videos, and then Oblivion Part 10. But so far... I've only been able to record three Tekken videos, this being the fourth, out of six. And I want to get them out of the way, well I want to get them done as soon as they're ready, but I guess I've just got to play along. All the secret characters I will do if there is bonus characters to be played as, like say like, you, um, Ling Shai Yu has two different endings, but for that one I'll just go show you what the ending is at the end of the video. Because I'm not going to play through Ling Shai Yu again just to show you a different ending for a different costume because it's the same character. But Kazaya and um, Kuma and Pando are technically two different characters considering the Tekken Tech 2, which is what I'm going off right about now. So we're going to run off that ski schematic. So I'm going to show you a few things that are the same that do require you to have the special costume, but although the special costume is just the same character, more or less anyway. Well, we can go through some. We can go through. I want to try and make that costume in a new one. I can for June. It'd be nice. No, no. It's a bit weird, though. But like I said, I'm only going to switch to... Like I said in the first Tekken Tekken video. I'm only going to switch to the other character. Well, I, I was originally going to say, Oh yeah, let's just switch it out whenever we want. But no, I'm only going to switch it out when I really need to. Or if it flashes, if I see it flashing. If it's flashing is when they're in their rage state, apparently. And it's when they're doing their strongest attack. So it's best to switch to that one on them there and then. And I've looked at a few things on this game about how you can get Devil Jin apparently as like just a playing sector but according to the Wikipedia of Tekken it wasn't actually playable I've heard I've read it two places of, and it says oh yeah you just got to do this while while having Hiachi in your, in your back and it just didn't work at all so it's just a lot of bullshit <laughs> I tried to practice mode so it may not work in practice mode but I can try it somewhere else and then probably still come up with the same result because I know how to do it now it's just so obvious to do I thought it was happening because like Jin's arms were starting to spark up a little bit so I thought oh my god I was going to do it but no it turned out it was a power attack so something was even modded it to make it like fucked up the game to make it do that or something like that and it just seems like it's just like black as skin of devil I assume because there's no way you can get Devil Jin in this game because they didn't even think of a freaking costume so all they saw was him flying away with black wings that's the only thing I remember them I remember seeing of the Devil Jin. Back when I was playing this. But either way, anyway, so we can go on. Oh, that's so weird. They're fighting each other. See, that's the only thing that's weird about these fighting games. The, you, when, when you end up fighting your opponent, it's a little bit weird. But oh well. They have to make some kind of effort out of it, don't they? Really? But oh well. I like the first Tekken Tech tournament. That was a good one. I mean, this is the first Tekken. I mean, the first Tekken game, because I think in the arcade version, because I've only played the arcade version, there's like 10 playable characters and there's like 10 stages, so you fight through each character once. Or something like that. 
No, you don't. I think you, I think there's ten stages. You do fight for other characters while playing as yours, and then there's like the active boss. I don't, I don't think he will play it. I probably were in the console version. But I don't have console editions, unfortunately. So I don't actually know. See, that's what I didn't understand at this point as well. Why did they not bring Jack 2 or Gun Jack back to Second Tag Tournament 2? Is it because Jack. Well, Jack 2 has its own little fighting style, and so does Gun Jack, is similar to Gun, so I'm guessing that's why they didn't put him in it, but. Gun Jack is basically like a week of four and Jack 5, or Jack 6, or something like that, so I guess that would make sense not to have him. Anyone else just doesn't seem logical. Like, why bring Jack 2 back in this? Because he can't fly, he's got different fighting styles, but why didn't they bring back Jack 2 for Tekken Tag? I don't, I don't know. I'd like to know, but I don't know. Tag battle. Um, I'm getting a bit tired. I can feel my eyes getting a little bit heavy, but I am not going to stop doing these videos until I either fall asleep playing this goddamn game, or I end up actually doing this as videos in the before. And back to your second tactic where he actually does nothing like the second time. Nice. Where is he going to this thing here? That was easy. That's what I liked about Tekken Tech 2 as well, there were more characters, a lot more characters. Oh, why did I not pay attention to my health? In any fighting game, I think having a lot of characters is a really good thing that you need to have. It's an incredible, but okay, here we go. We have Brucey Brew. I'm going to try and really one. And... Oh, wow. Now, I'm going to costume this time. Because this the... when it's got more than multiple people I can play as, I'll change to the other ones. When it's not, I'll just stick to the two I already know. Tag Something like that. Fight. Nothing for a few seconds. I'm your tizzle lady one, please. I know you're a cool dude with a cop shit. Come on, really? Hello, Archie. I might have that cop shit. I think I can move on like five or so or something. I uh, actually don't know. I've not been seen the cop shit in second tag two yet. I've just been focused on fighting. I always... Come on, stop fucking blocking all the time, you douche. I know that's like an easy way to get out of it when you're not getting hurt. But like he actually got support. If he knows it's gonna break the system, he will do anything. So like that guy, somehow my microphone dropped just fell over. I don't know what happened. I went to like sort out the TV and it sort of almost went off the power and it didn't freaking bang on the door. But so sorry about the loud bang. So I'd like to edit it out. I probably will edit it out so you probably wouldn't have heard about it. But either way, you would have noticed there's some kind of pause. Right, so when I find so no need to pay attention to my back bar. Depending on the relationship between the two characters, the bar dif differentiates between the two. So say like if I play Paul and um, Kuma, the ball will be really, really low before it switches out. If I play anybody with freaking Brian, it'll just go, like, wait until the very end. Oh, that would have been so cool if we did Unison there. That would have been amazing. I thought they were going to do Unison and everything. That would be cool. Oh, yeah, Bruce and freaking Brian would be a good comparing, considering they both know kickboxing. There's got to be, like, a little link between them to make it a good combination. Let's show you Brucey's. Oh, what a freaking picture that would be. Doosh. Maybe one of them. I don't know. Oh my gosh. I don't think that technical support from Kazai is there. Somehow it is there, even though he is the one who asked for the mercenary. I don't know. Not kind of like always. Anyway, guys, so that was the end of Tekken Tag Tournament 1 with Bruce Irving. I will see you in the next second video tomorrow. So this is Rick's Light signing out.